At Care Patreon, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any feedback on how we can improve our videos and resources, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Have you ever wondered why a spleen might become enlarged? Known medically as splenomegaly, an enlarged spleen can happen due to several factors. Let's explore some of the common causes. Viral infections. Infections like mononucleosis are a common reason for spleen enlargement. The spleen works over time to filter out abnormal red blood cells and produce white blood cells causing it to grow in size. Hemolytic anemia. This condition where red blood cells are destroyed faster than they're made can also lead to an enlarged spleen. The spleen enlarges as it tries to remove the damaged cells from the bloodstream. Liver disease. When the liver isn't functioning properly, blood can back up into the spleen. This causes it to swell as the organ struggles to filter blood efficiently. Frequent infections. If someone gets sick often, the spleen may enlarge due to its increased workload in producing white blood cells and antibodies to fight off these infections. Other causes. Certain cancers like leukemia and conditions that block blood flow to the spleen can also cause it to grow. Splenomegaly isn't just about a bigger spleen. It can also lead to serious health issues, such as increased infection risk, risk of rupture, anemia and low blood counts, pressure and discomfort, and impaired liver function. Conducting an enlarged spleen self-test allows individuals to preliminarily assess the size of their spleen at home. While it's not a definite diagnostic tool, it can provide valuable insights into one's health. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for the self-test. Lie down on your back on a flat surface. Relax your body, especially the abdominal area. Place your right hand on the left side of your abdomen, just under the rib cage. Gently press inward and upward, moving towards your left rib cage. With gentle but firm pressure, explore the area for any noticeable bulges, bumps or tenderness. Gently press upward and inward, but do not dig too deep. Let the spleen palpate your fingers and not the other way around. Take note of any sensations, discomfort or the presence of any mass. Take a deep breath and hold it for a few seconds, then exhale slowly. This can help make the spleen more palpable if it is enlarged. Repeat the examination of the area while breathing deeply. Tap gently on your lower left chest area just under the ribs. Note the sound. Is it hollow or solid? While tapping, take a deep breath in and hold it. Note any change in sound. Compare the feeling on your left side to the right side of your abdomen to note any differences. While there's this simple test you can take at home, it's essential to follow up with professional tests such as imaging tests like ultrasound, CT scans and MRIs to provide detailed images of the spleen. Blood tests, which can reveal underlying conditions like anemia or liver issues that might cause spleen enlargement. Physical examination, where a health care provider can use a palpation and percussion to check for an enlarged spleen and a biopsy. In rare cases, if a serious condition is suspected, a biopsy might be performed to get tissue samples for analysis. Here is a sample of our enlarged spleen self-test to give you an idea of how you would use it in your practice. To discover more of our free templates, explore our templates library which you can find on our Care Patron website linked in the description below. Care Patron is a practice management software known for its comprehensive features. Signing up is free, just click on the sign up link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button for more content like this.